All right, so I just got home from work. I'm spending some time with my little guy. And today I am taking my LSAT writing section. So The schedule for tonight, right now I'm going to tidy up my space a bit and then look at the practice prompt that Law Hub has just to kind of get an idea of what that kind of looks like. I'll probably research some YouTube videos on LSAT writing strategies. I'm definitely not practicing or researching this as much as the multiple choice sections. For me, I feel like I'll just psych myself out if I kind of look into it too much. So um, definitely we'll be looking at the practice one on Law Hub, like I said, and I'll link below some helpful videos that I found on YouTube as far as strategy goes. Um, after some of that, I do have an hour long yoga class that um, it's slow flow and yin yoga, so it'll kind of help me relax and center myself. And then I will come back home and take the writing section. So stay tuned. So I just finished watching some very helpful YouTube videos on kind of what to expect for the writing section and some really helpful tips. One of the biggest tips was, you know, try it a few times and I think I'll try it once. I kind of was notorious in undergrad for procrastinating, specifically with writing. I would write my essays like the night before they were due and so I feel like as far as time constraint goes, I'll be all right, but I'm just having a quick little snack here. It is just some cold four cheese rice -a -roni. Um, but then I'm gonna head to yoga and then I'll get back here. All right, so I just got back from yoga class. I'm feeling very centered. So I'm gonna tidy up my space, make sure that it is approved by the standard set by the proctoring service. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the practice writing section and then we're gonna do it. But right now, as I clean, I'm gonna watch some New Girl, um, probably have some tea just to further center myself. All right, so I just finished the sample writing prompt on the LSAC Law Hub, and honestly, I kind of enjoyed it. Um, I've always been a fan, I won't say always, but generally I'm a fan of writing, and I definitely think it was less stressful than the multiple choice section. I finished in 33 minutes, and I didn't really feel rushed, I had plenty of time to go through it, make some highlights, make some notes, um, and write what I think is a very good and compelling writing sample. So with that, I'm going to take a few minutes to kind of decompress and chill out and center my mind. And then I am going to take the writing section. Scary and exciting. All right, it is 9.57 p.m. and I am done with my LSAT writing section. I am very happy with how that went. Um, honestly, when I got home from work today, I was trying to make excuses for myself on why I didn't have to take it today and, you know, I could kind of put it off and maybe do it Friday or maybe even after I was done with the actual LSAT part. <laughs> but... I am very happy that I did it. Um, this is Spice, <laughs> in case you have not met him yet. Um, but obviously I can't talk about what the topic of the test was or what the prompt was or anything like that. But I am very happily surprised with how that went. Um, I was able to finish writing everything um, pretty much in the first 15 minutes or so. Um, and then I just used, or in the first 10 minutes, 20, I don't know. Anyway, I had about 15 minutes to edit, um, and finish that up. So I'm feeling very good. I have one section down, five more to go or four more to go technically. Um, but now I am going to make some ramen noodles and watch some new girl, um, I'm just very happy that that's done. This is my little emotional support companion who's currently slipping off my kitchen counter. Um, he's gotten me through this along with my friends and family. So supporting. <laughs> um, but yeah, writing is done. Tips that I have, I suppose, um, or just kind of my general overview, I did not do any specific prep for the writing until today. That being said, 
I took so many writing courses in undergrad, I had to write papers for lots of my classes. So, um, and like I said earlier, I was a procrastinator. So writing under a time constraint wasn't really an issue for me. If you're someone that usually planned a lot for your essays or papers or whatever, um, it could be helpful to practice with that short time span. It definitely, if that's not something you're used to, would be helpful. As far as organization of it goes, you know, intro, body, body's conclusion, whatever works for you. Um, the only issue I ran into was during the Proctor U setup, um, you have to allow share screen. And on Chrome, I couldn't automatically do that. I had to um, update it in my system preferences and then close out of Chrome and reopen it back up. And I was worried that it wasn't going to let me sign back in and things like that, but everything was fine. I was able to figure it out. But again, I'm just happy that that is done. And I just pulled up on Law Hub or Proctor U that my LSAT is in like three-ish days. So that is again, exciting and scary. Um, other application updates, because it seems I always end these videos rambling. Um, so I've requested three letters of recommendation. Um, all three have said they would do it. And I got my first one submitted to LSAC for my CAS report today, which I am very excited about just having one of those done. Um, yeah, so everything is really coming together. Next week on Monday, I've set my schedule that I'm going to do my law school resume and send that out um, so I can have some people review it for me. And then after that, just working on my personal statement slash statements. And everything hopefully will be submitted by September 15th. That is my arbitrary goal date that I've decided. Um, a few of the law schools open up, um, or one of them opens up like August 26th or something like that. And then the others open September 1st and September 6th. So once those are open, I'll assign the terms in my LSAC account. Um, and yeah, so those are my new updates. I am actually feeling very motivated and I am very happy that things are going well right now. So um thank you all so much for watching i will keep you updated on um the lsat how that actual test day experience goes i'll probably post a similar video to what i did back when i took the mcat so thank you all so much for watching and until next time bye guys so one last quick update i just got home from work and at around eight or nine ish this morning i got an email that my writing section was approved and it has officially gone on my record and it will not cause any holdups in the process of me receiving my LSAT score once I take that. At that time, they also release it to you so you can read it. Um, I don't want to overanalyze it because I don't want to get too much in my head about it, but after reading it over, there was like two spots where I wish I could have been a little bit more specific, but in general, I still feel really good about it and I'm very happy that that's done and it has been accepted. So 